All right, tonight I'm whipping up a Hendrickson spinner that was really good to me this past year. Um, there was a, about a week where I just kept the same fly on the whole time. Um, there's nothing super special about it at all, but it works really well, uh, which is special enough. And it's all uh, natural materials, which is fun. I think it keeps you honest um, as a fly tire and as an angler. And it's, um, you know, it's the old way, but can't, when, especially with, with dry flies, it's just natural materials are where it's at. So basically what I did is I left a, a, a tag of thread tied on two moose body hairs and pulled the tag through to split them. And then I'm going to go back, <laughs> get these, I should have just clipped them. Um, Get this thread back in the back with a wrap. Clip these like I should have already done. And now we have a, a thread waiting to secure our turkey, which I'm going to tie on by the tips, which is a pretty delicate procedure. So just soft wrap and then bring it down. Not too worried about whatever's sticking out but I'm going to build just a little base with the thread to make sure that we get a taper and then the natural taper of the turkey will take care of the rest. So wrapping away from you. A lot of times I'll dub this on the thread, but I do like the body since it is a spinner to be, goodness gracious, as even as possible. When you drop your turkey, just return to where you're at. And I think it looks better on a fly like this. So with my borchers, I dub it around the thread with dubbing wax. For this fly, I do not. I do think it looks clean this way. And the body is featured pretty heavily on this fly. And then we're gonna take our thread strand that we left and just give it a quick rib. All right, tie that down. And we're going to go back a third of the way and we're going to tie in our wing. Um, the dun I have, the dun, so this is a hen tip winged fly. And the dun I have at home, unfortunately, is lighter than what I used last year. So you're going to want a nice um, medium or dark dun. People's definitions of what's medium and dark uh, depends, but... If you want to shoot me an email because you need some hen, I have it um, at the shop in just the way I would have it on this fly. I just didn't have it at home and I thought I did. But what I do is I like to pull it back and, and get the get the um, two hen feathers I'm going to use paired up at this stage and try to get them standing up in front of the fly like that. Make sure I'm in the right spot. Setting your wings is uh, the most important part of this fly. So take your time. If you don't like it, I don't like it. Just redo. Only took a couple seconds to get it right. Clip those off and then we're going to stand them up. And then we're going to split them with the thread, which is a series of figure eights through. Now, this is one of the many flies I tie that it cleans up nice. So no matter how you're looking at, like at this stage, it'll clean up nice. All right, now we're gonna tie in some Grizzly Dye Done. We sell this um, by the feather in our Build a Hackle program. So you get these nice, big, long, Whiting Primo grades, and we're downsized. So we size all our flies for parachutes, all our hackles. So this is a size 16 that we we, we pre-size them for you. Because you want a little bit smaller hackle so those wings stand out. And then what I usually do at this stage is I'll take a couple more turkeys, turkey fibers like this, 
and I'll tie them down behind the wing and then I'll wrap through. Don't trap, don't trap. There's nothing you can't fix later, but I do try not to trap too much of those wings. There we go. And the hackle will hold this down. It does keep it clean. All right, secure that. Now we'll pull our fibers out. See, we're good. We're good. And then wrapping away from you, we're going to do, I usually do two wraps in the back like that. Two wraps in the front. This is a fly that really likes a good hackle because that's going to do all your floating for you. There's not much else on here to float. Do two and then we'll tie it off halfway up that third wrap. Build a little head, straighten out the wings, make sure our tails are good, they are, and just whip finish right there. See, it does clean up nice no matter how it looked before, you can always clean up a fly. And there it is, a very simple, very effective Hendrickson spinner. When I tie, when I fish it, I clip the bottom off flat, so not even a V, which I do on some other flies, like a Dunn, flat like that, and that's the fly. Good bug.